Hi, my name is Przemek Chujecki and this is Data Science Crash Course Part 2. So in this part we're going to talk about mathematics and statistics that you need to do data science because actually before any coding this is the part you should really get comfortable with. So basically there are a couple of concepts you have to understand in uh, mathematics and uh, to be uh, more clear linear algebra. Uh, and statistics in order to proceed with data science without any problems. So first of all, of course, vectors. Vectors and how to add vectors, how to take a scalar product and different operations on vectors, uh, like the angle between two vectors on a plane. That will be very useful because uh, Python is about vectorization. Data science is about vectorization of your data and then doing different operations on that. So. Vectors are really crucial because all your data will come in form of vectors of different zero and ones or different numbers in the end. And then the other thing is matrices. So you need to know the concept of the matrix. That's an RI and by M. Uh, you have to get comfortable with matrices and actually know how to multiply different matrices, not only add, but also multiply. That's really also that's also crucial. Um, but this is something, if you haven't done it before, this is something you can train. Just do a couple, a dozen, a couple dozens of examples of like, how do you multiply matrices with integer in it? Uh, this will be very important in, later on. Then you can read a little bit about the concept of a tensor. You don't have to know more about it, but uh, tensor are, tensors are just higher dimensional concepts. Uh, high generalization of matrices, very useful as well. They come over and over in how you represent data. So you actually have to know just the term in order to follow all the things. Uh, you don't have to know uh, more advanced stuff at the beginning. Then we're coming to the statistics and the crucial concepts are, are mean and variance, uh, and then what's the bias uh, and all the concepts related to that uh, because you get into probability theory and you need to understand that uh, basically how to interpret data. So without statistics you, won't, statistics, you won't be able to say what your results are telling you. And you really need those terms like mean variance, bias to understand what's really happening and be able to put your results into clear written form uh, for other people because communications is really important also in data science and for your own benefit because you need to understand yourself why something doesn't work or what those results are showing you right now. So those concepts are really crucial. Then uh, you need to understand something about probabilities and what's a conditional probability, what's unconditional, uh, how different uh, random variables uh, behave, which are independent from each other, which are dependent. Uh, probably you might read about central limit theorem, that, that would be useful, but definitely what's really crucial if is uh, bias theorem uh, related to probabilities, because that's the whole thing related to naive bias approach later on in data science, uh, which is one of the most uh, basic techniques you're using in supervised learning. So this is really crucial. Yeah, what else can we do? Well, this is basically it. Uh, really, um, there are, those are cru crucial concepts I wanted to cover. Uh, of course, I just said the names, you need to do the work, which means that in, with mathematics is very simple. Uh, you read the concept, you probably don't get it at first, but then you have to do examples. And when you start doing examples over and over again, at some point it just clicks and it becomes obvious. Uh, so this is like that with this. Uh, you should just try to get a book on uh, linear algebra and statistics and try to do examples or find those examples on the web. Uh, there are plenty of sources on linear algebra, free uh, PDF books, and basically you have to sit down and do the examples. That's the only way to learn mathematics and understand those concepts. It's crucial that it, you do it right now before beginning all else because this part, this materials will be coming back and back. And if you don't get it now, then actually some of the later on materials in data science will be not quite clear for you. So it's better to do it right now. Thank you for watching this episode. In the next, we'll be talking about data, how to process data, and uh, then how to get the data. And then we'll be doing some very interesting stuff with data science. Thank you for watching this episode.